Nana Maninde. Team is up 21 to 14 after the first quarter. You guys are joined by Martin Avier, Prince Carlos here in the broadcast. Prince, yep. EAC started like a house on fire, especially from long distance. Mm. Halos hindi nagmintes, ano? Oh nga eh, grabe. Sobrang opposite ng last game. So they just need to sustain this. They need to be consistent. EAC started the game 5 out of 6 from long range. Slowing down towards the end of the first now 5 out of 9. San Beda will have the first crack at the basket. We'll see how they will counter here. And what Coach Yuri planned during the quarter break. Pero ito yung isa mga plano nila. Take it inside because we have the advantage there. Talking about San Beda. Oh, they have a big lineup. So they have to take advantage of that sa paint talaga. If hindi ko magana sila sa labas, they have to take it strong inside the paint. Lalo na ngayon, field goal nila 4 of 17. That's highly unusual para sa San Beda. 4 out of 17 from the field. I'm gonna check out their field goal percentage. Nakadami ng free throw si Jomel Puno. Jomel Puno. He's 4 of 4. Make that 5 of 5. Perfect so far. 21 to 16. And EAC expects, almost expects, a counter from San Beda here in the second frame. Good Ooh, cut by Ochavo. Good cut Ooh, for he just Kyle. Missed it, but he got fouled. Good cut and good find. Good recognition. Wow. Ochavo got away. Blue by Penny Estacio. Now, Panghinayang Lanyo. Basket in one time. Nonetheless, he'll head to the line for a couple of shots. Kylo Chavo in his second year with the EAC Generals. AJ Royals in. This is a good matchup at the point. Roy and Chavo, parehong energy guy. Smaller but energetic guys, itong dalawang to. Small but terrible. Uh, Alright, so, ngayon naman, pakinggan natin ang report ni Yen Supan. Yen, go ahead. Kailangan natin lubabad at pakipagbakbakan sa loob ng court. Ang sabi sa akin ni King Ortiza, bago magsimula ang laro, he hopes that the generals triple their effort and as usual, be aggressive. One of their coaching staff did tell me that they need to triple their effort. They need to keep pushing the ball and let the defense settle down and attack right away. They did come from a long viewing and practice session yesterday, said Coach Jerson. So let's see how they'll move forward in the quarter. Back to you, Martin and Prince. Well, so far, the hard work has been paying off yeah, for EAC. Uh, diba? Talagang uh, napag-aralan nila and they knew what their game plan would be. Uh, for the some better red lines today. They're just executing here in the first half. Ochavo, he up the floor. He forced that shot, but wow. he went in. Somehow, putting it in, Kyle Ochavo. And yung mga tumalinch sa kanya, ang lalaki sila Andrada. You have to see it again. In the land of the Giants. 25-16 EAC maintaining their lead. Eman Tagle. Masyado madikit si Nico Kinal. Ang sarap panoorin ng Peda, yung offense nila. Ito ah. Ochavo making the catch over Albuena and Andrada that time. Kita mo naman niya, that's 6'5 and 6'6 going at the 5'5 guard. Pero itong si kailo chavo buong buo ang loob buo talaga loob dito si chavo kaya gusto ko rin to maging teammate ah. eh hindi maging kalaban <laughs> kasi talaga maiinis ka sa kanya pag siya bumabantay sa iyo tapos gumagawa pa siya ng mga play na ganoon <laughs> luciano luciano backing down turn That's around strength. yung alam na ipasok jens payosin collects payosin oh. oh. taken away by chavo forward pass and it is Aftana for the touchdown, Good biggest up, lead for EAC, 27-16, double digit advantage for the first time for the Generals as well. Lumobo na. Lumobo na, no, Martin. Uh -huh. And Sanbeda, 
Again, misfiring is the first Ooh, time. They have, a, they have a mismatch. Hindi lang nahanap si Albuena. Tagle misses. Pag may ganong mismatch, you have to capitalize on that. You have to take advantage on that. Ito na si Kyle. EAC, gustong dagdagan ng lamang. Wilmar, they go to the left flank. Kyle Luchavo. Rebound is snatched from mid-air by Payosing. Cross-court pass. Andrada facing up. Good patience. Then force that one. Royo. Payosing pulls the trigger. Short. Draws air. Andrada follows it up on the reverse. Yun lang. Uy. Bagay with the save. Ochavo now will slow things down. Bagay. That's it. Oftana. Another second chance. Oh. Blocking foul call. Yeah, it's on Halbuena. Who fell down after that bump with Nico Kinal. Tignan natin to. Right place, right time for Andrada. Pero, Prince. Para si San Beto. Ma talaga nauhulog na sa kapasin. Wala. Mahalat sila ngayon. Pareho silang opposite ng Ayak eh. Sobrang sweet shooting sila last game. Beto ngayon. Hindi. Again, highly unusual for the defending champions. Oh, Lucero coming in pala. First time. Oh, nga. Another point guard, Lucero. Yeah. Off Tana. That yeah. one goes around the rim. They have a lot of solid guards. Mm -hmm. Royo. Kick out. Andrada. Can this be his first three? Finally, for oh, you again. First triple. In four attempts for Yukien Andrada. Ina maganda kay Andrada kahit madami na misses. Hindi pa rin nawawala yung confidence niya kasi alam niya yung capabilities niya. Kaya niya ito rin yung shot na yun. Ang laki yung push shot naman nun para kay Novi Lucero. So San Beda is back within six. Yukien. Another one. But it make it back to back. That was a bit rushed. Five unanswered so far though by the Red Lions. Of Tana. Oh, Lucero. Got away with steps and he finds Pagsan High Good inside. Pass. Beautiful play by Lucero. And Pagsan High for the finish. EAC back in front by eight. Almost a steal, actually. He completes the steal. Paeng are, bumiting sa are. Paeng are. Wow. One and one. May deflection dito mula kay are. Good decision, na habol. Buhat bantay. Hang time niya no. Tagal sa are. Ni time mo na bumab. And may kasama pang foul. At pumasok na. Doon de diretso. Sayang, sayang. May content na sana. Are! Wow! Over the outstretched arm. Balik sa ating laban. These are the supporters of the Generals featured in our cutie cam. And supporter ni... What's that? Boom Team. Ayan. From... This is from San Beda. Cutie cam. Cutie cam. May smile kang pa tayo. Tapos na tayo sa tropa tsaka cutie. Alright. <laughs> Still in the second quarter. 5 and 49 to go. Almost halfway done. Nigel's back in. takes their lead. That's right. Nigel Gonzalez. After spending some time on the San Beda bench. Pumalik sa atin. Lockdown. Nope. Even with those yeah. Lucky bounces around the rim. Hindi pa rin makabutas ang San Beda. They're shooting 26% from the field. Medyo maalat beda ngayon. But, you know, if you're Coach Yuri, we're just down 8 despite the struggles. Brian Sohonia. Nigel will pull the trigger. Missed it. Another miss for Beda. One more time for them. 
Sahon ya now will create Sahon ya got free. Another miss. Left it short and here's another chance for them. Pero kasi good shot na may mga tinitake ng Bete, hindi lang talaga pumapasok. Puno, wala pa rin. And Luciano. Third try. Got hit in the face by Song Kuya. So Luciano. He got hit in the face. Three chances for San Beda. Uy! Nadaplisan. Nadaplisan. There is a review on the last foul. But I think he was going for the ball naman. Yeah. Well, then, uh, eh, medyo papalayo na si Song Kuya. Bago niya binaba yung kanyang uh, right arm. So, we'll see if this will warrant an upgrade. Ito, nire-review mga opisyalis natin. Pero yun na yung rule ngayon, eh, no? If konting matamaan yung face, pwede ma-upgrade agad sa hands yeah. po, eh. There, there's a pros and cons to it, eh. Well, yeah, that's true. Kasi every time you call something like that, as we see here, an upgrade oh, on okay. the unsportsmanlike foul on yeah. Song Kuya. Adding to the woes right of the Red Lions. Oh, so, I said it's above the shoulders. Not a play for, well, at least for... Yeah. That's uh, uh, the verdict of our officials. Not a play for the basketball. But you're right. It has you know pros and cons as it limits actions on the court. Yes. Right? It's different the game. The pros are, of course, we're going to be careful. 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 But the cons are, we're going to be conservative in the defense. We're going to be careful if we're going to be careful. We're going to be careful. We're going to be careful. Retains a ball possession. So, Senzo replacing Song Kuya, who was whistled for the unsportsmanlike foul. It is back up to nine for EAC. Chance and Dagdagan Dito, halfway down in the second. Backward from the baseline. Left the front row. Ooh! Pagsanhan Kalimag getting tangled up. That's RC Kalimag. Former UP, yeah, fighting Maroon. Holy <laughs> hell, number 13 RC. Both players uh, made a transfer a season ago. See Harvey from UE, RC from UP. Forty seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, there's a bit of color there between Pagsan Han and Kalimag, but nothing escalating though. Gurtiza fade away. That's his shot, yeah. but it just didn't go in. Drop off, backward. Luciano will retreat. Eto, re-attack. Another spin. Wala pa rin. Lu Lucero, oh, tapping it away from the Red Lions. And here's Lucero. Splitting the defense. Oh, Harvey. Oh. No foul called. Continue lang, laro so, lang. Yeah, the referee is letting them play. Three Gonzalez. on two. Sahonya. Another oh, miss for Beda. Hindi talaga pumapasok mga tira nila ngayon. Yeah, it's one of those days para sa San Beda Red yeah, Lions. May maganong araw talaga eh. And uh, ito sila as a team, ano? Oo eh, but they shouldn't get affected. Yeah. Kailangan next play, next play, next possession. Lucero. Over the outstretched arm of Puno, did not fall. Here's Gonzalez. Well, Brian Sahonia now. You know, Martin, pag hindi talaga pumapasok yung mga shots, mababa yung field goal nila. They need to capitalize on fast breaks. So nila kunin yung mga points nila. Kapilisin yung laro. Oh, oh. oh Celso eh. was out. So, a turnover for San Beda. Josh Tagala. We'll look to check in right after this break. San Beda still down by nine. Support pressure. Which kilo lang kilo lang talaga tong team na to dyan sa ganyang depensa. Ryan Sahonia, his first shot as a San Beda Red Lion in the NCAA. The best shooting three-point team in the NCAA. Sahonia. 
Baseline drive, Sahonia. Short. Sahonia! Wow! Parang napanood ko na yung move na yun. Galing sa'yo. Nakita ko na yun. Bakit sa'yo? Nakita ko na yun. I'll tell you what. A few days ago, I spoke to Angeles, former... Oh, balik tayo sa Tropa Camp, the TAC students in attendance, enjoying the action. Oh, diba? Masaya talaga manood ng games pagkasama Tropa. Correct, correct. Youthful energy. Ito, Tropa rin. Ba? Nasa kaya silang galing na school? We have supporters from both school, uh, schools here. San Beda nga lang, konti na kay uniform. Oh. Pero ma-identify mo sila dito kasi mga nakasan beda Shirt. shirts. Yeah. Yeah. So, 3 and 20 to go. So, nagbago yung defense ng beda ngayon. 2-2-1 yep. na sila ngayon. Kaya yung sinabi mo parang, Prince, gusto nilang pabilisin yung laro. Oo, oh, yeah. They wanna get turnovers. Yeah. Lucero. Charging. All away from the ball. So, it was a charging foul. Or umpad. Ah. That's a... Positive development oh, here for San Beda. Called for the turnover. Jos Tagala, who was initially in the reserve lineup of San Beda, activated and utilized by Coach Yuri. Nigel, fouled by Luciano. And for EAC, well, they're already in the and bonus. Actually, both teams already in the bonus. So this well, is something yeah. San Pedro can take advantage of. Yes, that's right, Martin. They didn't fall in shots nila sa field goal. So they need to take advantage of the free throws. Free throws for Nigel, Gonzalez. Nigel Gonzalez. back after missing one game because of an ankle sprain. Former Mapua Red Robin in his second season with the San Pedro Red Lions. Also an important piece of their championship last year. Pero napapansin ko kay Nigel, ginagalaw niya yung uncle niya eh. Parang mm. still bothering him. May iniinda pa, no? Oo. Oh. So, one out of two that time. Nigel Gonzalez. It's also his first point of the game. No Bilocero now. Harvey. Back on top. Right open. Gortiza just didn't find it. Lucero. Harvey catch and shoot. No good on the high arcing shot. Ito na ang Sanbeda. Yung zone defense ang Peda is working for them. They just need to capitalize on this. Ooh, Celso down the middle. Good set up job by Gonzalez. Umpad will be called for this one. You just have to make these free throws. Oh, what a pass. Nigel even twisting in mid there after me. Celso. Caught it and was able to draw the foul. Axel Doromal checks back in. Ito yung inihintay ko talaga, Martin, si Axel Doromal na pumutok sa EAC. Yeah. So far, he's been struggling in the game. Ito si Joe Celzo, newcomer in the front line for San Beda. Around 6'4", 6'5". Solid in the paint. Solid, solid big. And an important piece kasi... Ang nawala sa kanila, malilaki talaga. You know, Alex Viser, uh, Clifford Hopia, and Dami Kuntapay. All veteran bigs in the NCAA. So, kailangan talaga yan. Yeah. At meron pa hindi na-activate sa San Beda, si Bismarck Lina. So, 30-23. Lead is down to 7. They switched off their defense again. Wilmar. Gortiza attacks middle. Gortiza. Aggressive. Yeah, that's what he needs to yeah. do here, Prince. Aggressive as always, King Gortiza. And uh, they can treat this like the final minutes of the game. Yung kumbaga puporsyento ko nilang, you go to your, to a scorer that can create for himself. Tsaka ang maganda kay Gortiza, hindi mo alam po strong right, strong left, because uh -huh. he, he can attack both, both directions. That's right. Ambidextrous. Just missed that one. King today has five points. 
That was the two jumpers that he had earlier in the long step back. For EAC, it's Harvey Pagsanhan who leads the way, but scoring has significantly slowed down this second mm -hmm. quarter. Ayun, marado to para kay King. Only up by 19 points mula sa magkabi ng panig. So, AJ Luciano Royo is back. coming uh -huh. in. Kailangan siguro nila ng energy, kaya nila pinasok to si Royo. So, he'll be the trigger man here. And Nigel Gonzalez goes back out. There's the trigger. Sahon niya. Siya na yung magbababa dito. Tinidigitan ni Gortiza. Good D. Nice D. Oh. Good D. Broken up by Oftana. He got tripped. And he will head to the line yeah. for two shots. I love the energy of King Gortiza. Hindi lang pang offense, pang defense din. Grabe yun. Disrupting the play. First and giving his teammate, Wilmar Oftana, a chance to interfere that pass. EAC so far has controlled the game right from the jump and Wilmar drains the first can they sustain this uh -huh. lead? yun tanong eh kasi syempre first half pa lang we're still early and knowing Beda winning experience championship experience for sure may mga adjustments na gagawin niya sa half time that's right Richie Kalimag enters the game for the first time. Where's Kalimag brothers to RC and Richie? RC right now is currently on the bench. So si Richie, deadly shooter. Ah, ito pala, Richie. Lefty and a deadly shooter, Richie Kalimag. Lefty. Oh, Royo. Pinora si Doroman. Royo, kick out. They swing it to the other side. Hesitant si Richie. Yeah, he was open. He could have taken the shot, but... Still gave it away. Ah, oh, that one rimmed out for Brian Sahonia. And here comes Axel Duramal. Cross court pass. Gortiza. Salabas kay Axel with 90 seconds left in the first half. Of Tana making the catch. Of Tana off the glass. No. Royo with the rebound. You can AJ push this ball. It. Yeah. AJ has it. You can. Here's Brian. Back to Andrada. Good double for Axel. Yeah, that's a fantastic help. The AC ball. Forcing another turnover are the generals. You know, Martin, if you're not going to offense, you can always find ways to help the team out, yeah. especially the defense. RC Kalima. And EAC with, you know, these little things on the defensive end, making a big difference for them. Oh. Nine turnovers now for San Beda, as opposed to five for the Generals. And six of 28 on Beda as a field. Yan. Yan ang uh, main culprit na itong first half natin para sa Red Lions. Octana. Left it short. Under a minute left, AJ Royo. Royo. Before he shot the ball, I could still see that he was still hesitant to yeah. take it. He wasn't uh, yeah. fully committed to it. So about a 10 second difference between the shot and the game clock. Doromal steps into a jumper. Back shot. Back shot. Wow. Doromal. Big triple for Axel here in the first half. And now EAC will grab their biggest lead of the game, 36 to 23. Last shot for Peda. Talimag. RC will attack. RC. That's the ball, sir. Just missed it. And time will expire in the second frame. The EAC Generals leaving everybody surprised here in the first half. Leading it by 13 points against the defending champions, the San Better Red Lions. We'll tell you the story through the numbers and our highlights after this quick break. <laughs>